Okay. Hey guys, uh, we're doing something a little different this week. We're gonna be going on Kickstarter. All right. <laughs> All Kickstarter right. is the glorious platform that launched the tool cart mm. and the bit vault. Yes. And, and so exactly houses many fidget spinners. Yes. And so we're just gonna be looking at different products and you're gonna get our take on them. Does that sound good? Yep, sounds good to kind me. Kind of ad lib. All right. So where do we want to start? We've already kind of pre-searched here and gone to like EDC and design and newest. Uh, do you see anything so you like? Are you want to start, just do the pen? Yeah, what do you think about that pen? How do you say that, All refine? Right. This is the refine EP1 Essential EDC Titanium Bolt Action Pen. All right. Let's and watch the video. Yeah, let's watch this video. Pen, it's very sleek there and we go. Wish we had a shot of gin right now. <laughs> Jen's dancing in the back. So that actually, that's cool with the copper in there. Yeah, yeah. It's the, got inlay, little, the inlay is copper. Yes, it's got a little bolt action that's actually shaped like a check mark. Which yeah. Which is kind of cool, it's like a V. Yeah, and most um, of those bolt actions that like, if you watch our show, you know, uh, are in the middle right. and they zigzag. Or it's like an L. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was short. Yeah. Good. Well, Great music, second, though. Yeah. You can really feel it. Uh, do we want to scroll down a little bit? Yeah. Maybe look at. Yeah. So it's just it's just a real sleek looking pen. Not a lot yeah. of um. You know, it's very basic, but it looks nice. Too. I bet that that's more ergonomic. Looks like it comes in silver and black with the um, polished titanium or PVD coated steel, black, and it's got they both have that copper inlay, mm. which looks really nice. V-shaped bolt action, removable pocket clip. Looks like it removes pretty easily. Mm. And I mean, at uh, I think the lowest package is like sixty-five, mm -hmm. like fifty dollars. I mean, like if you're getting a nice pin, yep. that's pretty standard. Yeah, I would say. So fifty dollars, and that's the Kickstarter price. So it is. Yes, so like normally six. And it comes with a refill on the ink as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> next product. On to the next one. Yeah, well, let's I think just so. take a look at their. Yeah, I guess those are the two options. Black and silver, you can get a couple. Um, nice looking pen. So yeah. If you're in the market for a sleek EDC pen, check it out. Why don't we do this? Tactic clip. And we're in Guatemala right now doing some field research just about a mile south commercial. of the Mexican <laughs> oh, what? border. Looks check like a YouTube out. commercial. These guys right yeah. here, green coffee beans, you may actually recognize some of these from Starbucks. And we are I don't know what this has to do with There we go. Oh, they're testing the tactic clip. clip. Normally I yeah. wear it right underneath my hat, but if you are a lady... So he's bald like us. Yeah. Room. He puts it in you know, his hat. You know, someone in here made a very <laughs> observant <laughs> comment about how we shouldn't be reviewing hair clips. Yep. For whatever reason. Well, I'll have you know that there's a use case for us. Yes, and he's got it in his hat, on his sleeve. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, a lot of people put, like, the fish hook like on the ball cap, mm -hmm. it's kind of like that. So you can hide it kind of in a lot of places. Exactly. So and they, and, it, and might, it does seem like a macgyver yeah, kind of deal, right? They might deal, your, right? your first one or two, but they're not going to get them all. Yeah. <laughs> TSA safe? Yeah, I don't yeah, know about yeah. that. Hold on. Yeah, quick tip for all those people that want to sneak these on planes. Yeah. Put five in different places. <laughs> Once they get the first few, yeah. <laughs> they'll leave you alone. <laughs> Oh. You see the jungle behind me? That looks like something out of Jurassic Park. This camouflage is specifically designed to blend into brown, blonde, or brunette hair. Oh, that one kind of blended yeah. a little bit. They're pushing urban clip, camouflage. This yeah. one is compliant for U.S. military uniform. There's no really? There's no on it, no markings whatsoever. And if you are a woman in the military, mm -hmm. this is in compliance. Well. Or if you guys are also minimalist, prepared, survivalist type individuals and you're always on adventures like myself then this is for you so this kickstarter is so it's i just want to say one yeah. thing i don't think that the the compliance for military code has anything to do with like the quality of it or like right. like typically when you say like military compliance it makes it sound like it's really tactical right. and I think, stuff i think, but I think the camouflage and that one i only think it's because it's camo like i think they just don't want ones that are like obnoxiously large or like anything like that okay yeah it's interesting that they've got a guy doing the hair clip. 
video. Well, it might and have been him. A lot of the well, and a lot of the um, use cases they're showing are guys doing different sports and stuff. Oh, okay. I think later in the campaign, it's, if you it's sort of black version, it's over on geared Amazon, towards women. But if you mm. want to be the first come, first serve, be hooked up with one of these AU camouflage tactic clips, I hope that you will join me. Last thing before I let you go, check out this cute little dog over here. Now, now this guy knows what he's doing, man. But he looks like something out of Star Wars, doesn't he? Look, look, That was a gremlin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, buddy. That dog's dying. <laughs> That's like a starving dog. <laughs> Can't say that on TV. Had I okay. Tried to take him home, I would probably be stuck with rabies. That's it. My name's Bo Shemisu. Go back this the Kickstarter and be yeah, he's the founder. founder. He was the founder. Yeah. That's why, yeah. 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 Funny video, though. Yeah. Seems like a funny guy. So let's scroll down. Let's see what's all in the tactic clip. Yep. Um... So it looks kind of dangerous, but see, I don't think it's that dangerous though. Like, um, with the clip action, right? With the pointy, there's so, a pointy edge. So, so I mean, like, you're not going to grab that because you're right. doing it this way, right? Yeah. Um, the serrated edge you don't have to worry about because mm -hmm. when you put it on, you don't feel it that right. way. So there's a sharp point for like sort of cutting stuff, is what they show. Yeah, they show. I, they have, there's a GIF down here. Mm -hmm. If you scroll down a bit, um, there you go. And Trying that's puncturing you know, bottles and yeah. cans. Just show the TSA this video when you're trying to sneak five of them yeah. on a plane, and you'll be good to go. Yeah. Well, it's kind of, it's definitely a unique take on um, portable multi tools. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. See, here's where they're talking about marketing a little bit to women. Women pants don't have pockets a lot of times, so where are they going to mm -hmm. carry their multi tool? That's true. In their hair. And camouflaged on the ground, so I don't know. Is that a feature? That's not. Like if you drop <laughs> I don't know if I would call that a feature, yeah. <laughs> drop yeah, it in the rocks. Not, that's not the best. You may not find it again. Yeah. It's camouflaged. But. Well, maybe you're hiding it, you know? Oh, yeah. Like the TSA is coming after you. Oh, here's, you, here's a good You run into the wilderness. Un unlocks, you throw it on the ground. They yeah, can't find it. Yeah, yeah. Unlock zip ties. That's cool. Yeah, Cuts exactly. through zip ties. Yeah. It's some MacGyver type stuff. Wick holder. I'm not exactly sure how you'd use that. There's a serrated edge, um, camo, beautiful packaging, designed in Seattle. TSA tested, 10 times carry-on. Wait, what? Different occasions. Yeah. Wait, what? TSA tested. They, they brought that on a plane. I think so, 10 different times. Now, does that, I can only assume that they didn't show it to a TSA right. person and say, can I bring this on a plane? Right. They snuck it through they had it on his inside 10 his hat. times. Because that has a sharp external edge, it, and that's yeah. one that's against one of the TSA's compliance guidelines, is it not? Yeah. Well, depends on the agent. It does depend on the agent, as well, we well know. So they have but, TSA right in it. They have a sharp pointed razor claw tip. Yeah, dude. There's and no way that's edge compliant. Of the two. Wait, wait. TSA it tested yeah. and passed ten domestic and international flights. No one has batted bad. and not exactly. Oh, so basically you're they, doing they it. They snuck it. You, that's what I said. Yeah, they yeah. snuck it past so the TSA. it's easy to sneak. Easy it's to easy sneak. to get past the TSA with this knife. Yes. I like it. <laughs> Off the record specs. That's cool. Fishing lure. That's kind of a neat uh, zip tie lock pick, money clip, chip clip. These are their, sort of their, their outside use cases. Tiddly Winks drinking game. Mm -hmm. I'm very interested to know about that. Yeah. I think it's really cool. I... Uh, I would get one. Next, uh, next. Well, part? you got five days to do it. Oh snap! Well, if I wanted camo, but the black is available right now. Okay. Uh, all right. Ooh, that. What was that funky looking knife? This one. Yeah. Do you want to do that or a different? Uh, one? Zirkle. It's <laughs> kind of a weird name. Uh. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna do the Zirkle. First of all, the name is awesome. <laughs> Was that it? Zirkle. There's no way that was it. That was it. <laughs> Ten second video. Okay, I gotta watch that one more time. I'm sorry. Straight to the point. <laughs> Lightweight <Straight> pocket knife. <laughs> the point. It's Shaped like, like a circle. So it's like a half moon, <laughs> and then like the, the knife just com comes right. out in one way. Yeah. I but the, certainly that's not. There's other functions on it. I assume. They didn't seem to try very hard on that video. Some cool images. <laughs> the there. images are great. Well, it is kind of a neat looking thing. Okay, so what they have bottle opener, paint lid closer. 
which is interesting. Lid closer. I yeah. How that works. Lucky lotto ticket scratcher. Mm-hmm. Only works on lucky lo- ones. I mean, it looks like it could be brass knuckles or something. <sighs> yep. Uh, can tab popper, staple remover, and what was that last one? Uh, tape cutter and box. Oh, oh, the actual blade. Yeah, it's a little little knife. It's a small, kind of like talon knife. Yeah. Is that the right name for them? I would call it a talon knife. That sounds right to me. Um, what's the diameter on this guy? They've got lengths of all this stuff. They don't have the diameter. Full length, 65 millimeters. What does that mean in American? It means... Two inches? No, more. Two and a half um, inches? Yeah, it's probably two and a half inches. So it's small. I'm wondering, like, they need to show a hand in here just so we can see how big There you go. Are. Yeah, so, that's like two inches. I don't know, maybe you could get two knuckles in there mm. as like a brass knuckle. I, I would not recommend I doing that in general. Oh yeah, it's, no, no, it's, break it's, your fingers. it's, well that's why you have the back part of it, right? It's small, it's um, yeah, like two and a half inches diameter. Yeah. That big? Does that that's kind of neat. I don't know, I feel like they could have put more Stuff a little more like if, you, if you're the for the amount of real estate it's taking up, yeah, right. Um, it's definitely cool looking, I, I like it, and it's unique. And the name is amazing. Wrap up, start wrapping it up, she says. Okay, okay, all right, let's look at one more. I think, no, I think we need a that's it. Unle- all right, let's do yeah, just do that one, do that one, right. <laughs> just do the do the candy Titanium can, titanium candy can, and we'll can. we have like two minutes the to go through this one, can. and then we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up for Jen. Wait, is this still going? I don't know. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, wait. Let's play the video quickly. Hey, it's Magnus here, and welcome to yet another video. He has a 10 minute video. He <laughs> has a 10 minute video, we can't do it. But this is made, it's a, it's a titanium case. Yep. Um, they say candy, but we know what they're talking about. Skittles. Yeah, Skittles. M&M's. You put drugs in this. <laughs> it's a titanium, well, no, I hope, I hope Skittles that, in there to I mix with that, your, to mix with your, uh, Mountain Dew or whatever. I hope that that, that, I hope that, that captured gin going, oh, oh. Oh. We need a gin cam. Right. Just point it in the opposite Internal direction. Internal texturing, kind of cool. It, I mean, it's, it's it looks quality, but it's made to fit into the, um, what do you call it? The watch Bob pocket. pocket. That's what we've been calling yeah. it. Yeah. Well, no, I call it the coin pocket. But this pocket in here. Oh, they match the lid to the base for a perfect fit. It does look mm. nice. Not just for candy. Mm. No. You can put mints, coins. coins. Skittles, made in New Zealand. All right. I think that's pretty cool. Although the only thing that is kind of funny is that <laughs> if you want to it's hold exactly bit, yeah, ten yeah. M&Ms or Skittles, so that's, that's how, how big it is. It's small. It's like yeah. a mini Altoids box. Yeah. Without the hinge. Yeah. And titanium. Anyway. Indestructible. Thanks everyone for watching us. Check out these cool Kickstarters. Yep. Uh, hopefully this will be published on time. Yeah. Let us know if you like this format. Uh, maybe we'll do it again. Yes. And maybe we'll do it live. And next week, yeah, maybe we'll do it live. And next week we'll be uh, probably returning to traditional gear reviews. Perhaps. Perhaps. Or some other surprise. See y'all next week.